To customize the appearance, you can install custom overlay door panels for providing a flush appearance with the surrounding cabinets. Note that the improper installation can lead to a finger pinch point hazard between the side door trim and the cabinets when operating the door, especially with children. To minimize the risk of the finger pinch point hazard, you must follow the installation instructions for cabinet dimensions, trim assembly, and door stop angle. The thickness of the overlay door panel should be 3 quarter inch and should not weigh more than 45 pounds. Ensure that for panels constructed with rails and styles, the rails and styles are of a minimum width of 2 inches. For custom panels, use the templates and adjustment screws provided with the units to pre-drill holes for mounting the provided panel brackets following the installation instructions. The minimum distance between the handle and the side edge of the overlay door panel should be one and a half inches. The panel provides mounting to the appliance door by attaching to included brackets. It is recommended that the decorative panels have inside corners and edges rounded or bevel to avoid sharp edges on the panels. Ensure that the edges to be treated include the top, bottom, and hinge side edges. Verify that the overall panel dimensions of the supplied material match the recommendations for the model and inspect thoroughly for any initial damage. Then, place the template on the back of the door panel so that the top edges of the template or black lines in the door panel are aligned properly and the side edges of the template and the handle side edge of the door panel are aligned as well. Use masking tape to secure the position of the template to the panel. Mark the hole locations on the door panel using a center punch. Drill pilot holes for panel mounting brackets that are not more than a half inch deep using a 5 64 inch drill. Hole locations on the template for the minimalist or statement handle kits are given for reference only. Do not drill. Install the top and bottom panel mounting brackets on the overlay panel using the six number six Phillips head screws. While mounting the brackets, the cutout end of the bracket should be on the hinge side and the flanges on the bracket should face toward each other. Ensure that the screws are secured flush to brackets and are not over tightened. Now, install the center mounting bracket assemblies in four places on the overlay panel with two number six Phillips head screws. After installing the top, bottom, and center mounting brackets, remove the L-shaped bracket. If installing handle hardware, counterbore the panel so that the screw heads are recessed. Assemble the top center bracket and secure with two Phillips head screws. To install the overlay door panel, first remove the four T30 Torx screws and bottom hinge cover from the refrigerator door and set aside. Open the refrigerator door to 90 degrees. Slide the overlay door panel onto the refrigerator door so that the overlay door panel gets interlocked on the top and bottom of the refrigerator door brackets. Then slowly close the door after centering the panel on the door. Ensure that the panel does not contact the surrounding cabinetry. With the refrigerator door fully closed, ensure that the target gap between the overlay panel and the cabinetry surround is 1 8 inch. Adjust the top and side gaps of the overlay door panel with 12 set screws provided for door adjustments using a 1 8 inch Allen wrench. Each corner of the overlay door panel consists of three adjustment set screws. Please note that the vertical set screws at the top and bottom mounting brackets are partially hidden beneath the brackets. To install set screw for flush mounting, first verify the gap in alignment between the overlay panel and the cabinetry at the hinge for the first door. Set the gap between the doors. Note that for single installation, set the handle side first. If the gap at the top is too large or uneven, use the set screws on the top bracket to adjust the gap until the gap is equal along the entire vertical section. If needed, slide the overlay panel to the side to reset the gap of 1 8 inch. To align the overlay door panel to the cabinetry, first adjust the vertical adjustment set screws at the top corners. Drive the set screw clockwise to move the door upwards. Move to the bottom corner and install the set screws. Do not tighten them yet. Install and adjust the four outermost horizontal set screws at the corners. If overlay door panel is too deep inside of the surrounding cabinetry, turn the set screws clockwise to move the door outwards until the panel is in position. 
Install and adjust the four innermost horizontal set screws at the corners. If overlay door panel is too far outside of the surrounding cabinetry, turn the set screws clockwise to move the door inwards until the panel is in position. Note that the set screws on each door panel corners can be adjusted independently. Again, note that you will need to make several small adjustments on all four corners to align the door. Once the overlay door panel is in the desired position, the remaining set screw should be driven and firmly tightened to properly secure the overlay door panel. Next, secure the center mounting bracket using square washer and one quarter inch Phillips head screw. Install the hinge covers at the top and bottom of the refrigerator door with four T30 Torx screws each. Secure the hinge cover at the top with one T10 Torx screw. There are two door trims to install on the overlay door panel. The door trim for the handle side is a long trim and the door trim for the hinge side is a shorter trim. The side trim consists of an outer trim and an inner trim. Inner and outer trim should be adjusted vertically to align with the top and bottom hinge covers during test fit. Note that the adjustments must be made before adhering to the side of the door. Note that these trims slide in and out to hide the gap between the product door and the overlay door. To install the handle side trim, clean all sides along the top and bottom hinge covers using rubbing alcohol for better trim adhesion. Test the fit of the handle trim with the side of the door without removing the backing of the handle side trim tape. Place the cover of the outer trim on the top of the hinge cover. Align the inner trim between the top and bottom hinge covers. Place the outer trim evenly against the back of the door panel. Push the inner trim to contact the product door. After the test fit of the trim is complete, peel off the tape backing around 8 to 10 inches at the top of the inner trim tape. Align the top of the trim with the top of the door panel without touching the exposed tape to the side of the door while ensuring that the tape backing is sticking out. Ensure that the inner and outer trims are in location. Press the exposed inner trim tape on the side of the door to adhere the trim tape securely and pull out the rest of tape backing slowly until the complete tape backing is removed and adhered. After securing the inner trim tape, the top and bottom portions of the outer trim tape should be secured. To secure the trim tape, pull back the top of the outer trim slightly to expose the tape backer. Ensure that you do not bend outer trim too much to prevent damage to the trim. Peel off the outer trim tape backing and press to adhere securely. Repeat the same steps for the hinge side door trim. Note that the outer trim aligns to the top of the hinge cover to hide the exposed screws.